Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Murray. I'm a, the uh, professor of global health at the University of Washington and also the director of the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation. And we're going to be talking about our study of mortality at the county level in the U.S. over the last 34 years for 21 broad causes of death. The objective of our study was to use cause of death data, um, fix various problems in that data, and then make meaningful comparisons for the leading causes of death in the United States for 3,110 counties from 1980 to 2014. We studied uh, the leading causes of death uh, at, and used individual death certificates uh, and then figured out by age and sex and county uh, what are the death rates uh, at, at, for each of these local uh, communities and then identified both disparities across counties and trends uh, over time. Well, we found uh, huge variation in all the leading causes of death uh, that we found, as many people have sort of suspected by looking at, at uh, life expectancy or all-cause mortality, that heart disease uh, is particularly high in the southeast of the U.S. But when we looked at other causes of death, we found large disparities, but the spatial patterns are very different. The highest levels, for example, for violent death from suicide and homicide are in, in the west of the U.S. Uh, the highest death rates from drug use disorders are in West Virginia and Eastern Kentucky and New Mexico. So very different spatial patterns depending on the cause of death that we're looking at. There are two main limitations. Uh, first is we try to clean up some of the problems in cause of death data that come from the way physicians in different communities in the U.S. fill out death certificates. Uh, we know from other studies that uh, the way death certificates are completed in Alabama compared to New York can be quite different. And we have algorithms to try to fix those problems, but those algorithms are imperfect. Uh, and the second major limitation is that we use uh, novel signal-to-noise processing methods to make estimates for very small communities. Some of the counties in the U.S. are quite small. And these methods have come a long way in the last 20 years, uh, but they still generate substantial uncertainty intervals in some places. Well, we conclude that uh, in general, disparities across counties in the U.S. are actually growing for many causes of death. Uh, and not only are disparities in the sort of level growing, but we see for some causes of death, even big causes like cancers, or for example, cirrhosis or, or cardiovascular disease, that there are some places where death rates are going down and at the very same time death rates in other communities from those causes are going up. And that's part of the reason we see this widening disparity ac across community. Well, the next steps are to take these broad causes like cardiovascular disease or cancer and produce estimates for each specific. Let's say, you know, we have all cancers, but the next step is we're looking at breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer. Uh, and then the other direction of, of our work is to take the analysis from the county level down to even a more local level. So, for example, within a county, looking at census enumeration tracts, which is about 2,000 people living in each tract. And so we're going in both directions of increasing granularity, which we hope will be, make the results more useful for both physicians and public health uh, practitioners and, and health service providers.